I'm not sure what piracy has to do with Christmas, but this, today I will be drinking the Jolly Roger Christmas Ale by Maritime Pacific Brewing Company. So, uh, yo-ho! Well, hey again, and welcome to another episode of Chewing the Brew. I do not know if I've had another Maritime Pacific Brewing Company beer. I'm pretty sure I've had Jolly Roger once before. It's ringing the bell. I haven't checked my uh, untapped list to see if that's the case, but I'm pretty sure I have. Um, it is a Christmas ale, so going into what I've talked about before regarding these, um, I anticipate it to be a, uh, a relatively high proof um, warming winter ale with possibly some iconic Christmas flavors built into it, baked into it, brewed into it. And from the ABV, it is a 9.5. So definitely the proof levels on the, on the, the winter warmer side, uh, pouring it, it comes out maybe a little bit lighter than some of the other beers we've had. Also very little head, kind of akin to the, um, um, oh, what was the other one? Oh, the, the Omegong, I want to say. No? No, the Omegong was one that was over overly... Um, I can't remember. There was one one of the Christmas beers that poured with very little head. Uh, anyway, so yeah, really really thin head. Um, it's hung around, and you can get it to come back a little bit, but it's not voluminous by any stretch. Uh, so it's a, it's a brown ale, or maybe a, an amber ale. It lacks a lot of the red tones that some of the other ambers have had uh, but you know it's just a pretty standard uh, dark ale there smell wise i'm picking up warm warm spices just off the get-go or from the get-go off the off the start <laughs> let's mix my metaphors into one big mash and then brew it Woohoo! um more of very similar to the Abita Christmas ale I had earlier today. It has that almost lager-like quality to the nose where it's it's just kind of faded and fuzzy. Um, not not mushy, not an unpleasant, indistinct mix, but just kind of faded and fuzzy and you know there were there are distinct things in there, but the lines are blurred between them, right? That's that's kind of what I'm picking up just from the nose. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure I'd even be able to, if you put uh, the Abita Christmas Ale and the Jolly Roger together, like side by side, blind tasting, I'm not sure I could smell the difference. It has a lot of the same kind of malty, mellow flavors, flavors, uh, smells to the nose. Um, there's a little bit of kind of a uh, Christmas spice, but it's, it's the warm ones. It's nutmeg, not really cinnamon, nutmeg maybe the barest hint of, of allspice, maybe. Um, but just kind of an indistinct maltiness and, and so forth. Let's uh, give it a taste and see how that stands out. Hmm. Okay. Uh, so the Silver City Old Scrooge was a whiskey barrel aged Christmas ale. The Abita was just a Christmas ale. This falls squarely in the middle. It's like they took the Abita and concentrated it, made it bigger, made it an imperial. Um, so the, the higher ABV, so there's a, a bit more sweetness here. The maltiness is just bigger and more present. And it's the sweetness levels are getting halfway up to what the old Scrooge was, which was just bordering on cloying levels of sweetness. This has a couple things going on, though, that make it better, I think. Or that, that at least stand it apart. So, I don't know if I've posted, like, I don't really know the order that I post these things in. Uh, before I post them, well, I have an idea, but you can check and see. You look at the 
you know, beer review number. And that's the order that I've recorded them in, not the order that I've posted them in. So sometimes I do post them out of order. Anyways, in the Abita beer review video, I talk about how the roasted malts have produced this toasty and roasty, almost burnt toast approaching flavors in there, in that beer. In this, that kind of imperial up to 11 amped volume has done the same thing for the roasty character of the Jolly Roger beer. Uh, but it produces more of a um, uh, toasted marshmallow slash coffee ground, like ground coffee uh, flavor in here. So it's, it's more distinct. It's a more prominent flavor note, I think. It's also present through more of the beer, more of the flavor. Like with the with the abita, the 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 bitiness kind of came towards the end. That the burnt kind of became more apparent towards the end, and there was kind of a finish of this like walnut bread. With this, I don't have the walnut bread finish. I don't think, um, but the kind of the roasty, the dark, uh, uh, burnt marshmallow, and such. That's that's more present, I think, throughout the beer. So what you end up with is this maple syrup sweetness, um, light maple syrup. Like the maple isn't super strong. It's just, it's not honey. It's not sugar. It's it's a little bit different different direction than those two. Um, so this kind of I'm gonna call it maple syrup. This maple syrup sweetness, or maybe butter syrup. No, it's not butter syrup. Yeah, maple syrup's the best. This maple syrup sweetness that kind of goes through, it's it's bigger at the front, and then that, that kind of fades slowly, but it's present the entire time the beer's in your mouth. And then you also have this kind of really nice highlight of roasty, burnt marshmallow, um, uh, uh, campfire kind of roasted flavor. And that's then present uh, kind of this nice little highlight on that entire stroke of sweetness. The finish then is, what's the finish? I'll have to try. Again, more, drink, again, yeah. That, the sweetness kind of fills the whole mouth. The, you got the, the, the roasty bit over the top. And the finish is, I think it's just both of them combined fading into, into oblivion. Um, it's, it's a long finish. This is hanging around for 10, 15, 20 seconds. Um, and I think typically the sweetness in these beers, in my experience, fades sooner than the bitterness. And I think the surprising thing about this is how long the sweetness lasts, which gives it almost a, a thickness to the syrup character of this beer, which is quite interesting. Um, this is this is a good beer. I think I would pick this over the old Scrooge, mostly because it's a lot less sweet than the old Scrooge. Um, if if sweet beers are your thing, Silver City's Old Scrooge, whiskey oak barrel aged Christmas ale is super sweet and and really really nice, really good. Uh, this is only halfway there, halfway up to that sweetness level, and so it still has definite sweetness to it but it's not just sweetness and the bitterness is more present and kind of plays a stronger counterpoint to that um and i like that it's a tasty beer i like it a lot i i enjoy it it does happy things in my brain you know however i have to convey this i like this one <laughs> it's i think a simpler beer than the abita christmas ale I don't really want this to get into a comparison, but it is. It's too far gone. Um, it's. I think it's a simpler beer than the Abita Christmas Ale. I think possibly because of the Abita's uh, more mild character overall, individual flavors were able to more individual flavors were able to stand up and be noticed. This is a is a stronger beer, and in that strength, only the strong flavors have survived, and that is this really nice tasty syrup and then this nice highlight of um of, of bitterness that just kind of ices the whole cake and it works it works very nicely anyways uh 
Yo ho, yo ho, a pirate's life for me today. Um, this is the Jolly Roger Christmas Ale by Pacific Maritime Brewing. I'm Matthew, I've been chewing the brew, and I'll catch y'all on the flip side. <laughs>